So this is the, the regular plywood. I've just painted it. And I'm fixing to show you how I antique this. So just hold on. Okay guys, so anything you can find that will make a dent in this wood, you're gonna use. Like, I don't know what this is, but it was on my porch and I'm gonna use it to kind of jab holes here and there. And kind of just beat the wood. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, and you can't see, I guess you can, like, there, there, there's like little spots. But whenever you put the antiquing glaze on it, it's gonna bring those spots out. But I'm gonna go and find something else to beat this with. Okay, so you can see like the little dents, the marks, but we're gonna see what it looks like when we glaze it. So just hold on a minute. Okay, y'all, this is the antique and glaze I'm gonna use. And all you have to do now that you've got your wood completely beat up is rub it on and wipe it off. So I'm gonna try and get Cheyenne to hold the camera while I do that taking glaze looks like when you open it now I don't need a whole lot for the project I'm doing so I'm just gonna use this little bit that's on the cap or the lid and you just dip your rag in it you're just gonna go over your wood here okay and then you're gonna go back and you're just gonna wipe off as much as possible and then see how it's getting in those grooves that's what you want. You want it to be able to get into the grooves. And that's how I ended up with that wall in my laundry room. This is the easiest way to do this. I could be here with a paintbrush all day, but I don't want to be. And if you ain't liking the way it looks, if it's not dark enough for you in spots, then just keep going over it until it gets dark as you want it. So. See the way that, that dent right there did? I love the way that looks. And then it goes way down deep in those. And my laundry room looks a little different because it's cut plywood. It's cut into strips for like what we did a hardwood floor with. That was just left over and out. Be careful, it's, it hurts. All right, so we got that done. Now I'm gonna fold my rag, and yep, my hands are gonna be all stained up, but that's okay. Then you're gonna go back and you're gonna wipe off as much as you can. That's all you do. This ain't the actual glaze that I used, but it does just about the same thing. Trying to get so. it where they can see that it's a glaze to look. That's all you do, peeps. One, two, and three, and you got it done. There you go. And it would look different if it was on a wall or if it was on, you know, the smaller cut pieces because then you're going to have the different textures. It's not just going to be one big piece. It's going to look better. So, if y'all like this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Leave me a comment. Thanks and have a good day.